Hello? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, hello everyone, Random Gamer Riven here today with another randomized gaming stream. It is Thursday, the was it the 10th of September 2020. I'm just going to turn that volume down a touch. Bear with me. Apologies whenever I go to adjust anything on the uh, open broadcast, this will black screen on the left screen, sadly. Yes, with some games will keep... I'm actually having to use... Uh, Annoyingly, I normally use open broadcast software, and when I normally use it, I use window capture. For some reason, window capture did not work with Degenerations HD Edition, so I'm forced to use direct uh, screen capture, which basically captures everything on screen. Now, Degenerations, this is a remake of the original game which was released in 1991 and developed by Mindscape. And this version is, let me just put the text to confirm it was released in 2015 and it was developed and published by West Coast Studio. Now, we do actually have the original game. I originally played it when I was playing a demo way back on the Amiga many years ago and we suddenly got the remake. We did get the original game much later but I've never really sat down and played it on the Amiga. We got it like in like 20, 2008 or 9 or something. So the premise for Degenerations is a virus. Something's you have to deliver a package, but as you quickly find out, there's a virus running rampage around the arena that you're in, and so you have to basically try and rescue people while at the same time getting down to deliver the package. You've basically got a package that needs to be delivered, and you're not sure exactly what that package is. Now, this remake, it was originally an isometric game, as you see here. This remake apparently was made using the original source code. The one thing I will say is the original game, and I'll take the arrow off screen, I'll just quickly change an option on the capture, not to capture, display, capture, capture cursor. Okay, yep, I'll just turn that off. Because you don't need to capture the mouse. Now, the original game had a fantastic, very pastiche art style that actually still holds up really well. I'm not sure this 3D rendering version holds up as well. So the survivors need rescuing, and I'm just going to show you what that slug thing is, it looks a bit weird. That's actually more a green pipe. Now, I'll be honest, the animation isn't great in this update, though the way that some of those things are moving is not ideal. You can read computer terminals, so... Also, a bit rather nice audio bug. So, yes, we are the courier. It's about time you got here. I had Deria die screaming in my ear all day, and now the whole place is going crazy. 
I don't know what's in the package. There was Derry, Derudai, the doctor, scientist. Do I look like an information boy? Where is Derudai? Uh, he's somewhere on the top floor, but with all this security systems and all, got a chance of finding him right now. going on. You're not much of a hero, but Daria, whoever is, needs the package. Traps. Fears besides you decide to push on. I'm going to find Daria. So yourself, it's your life. Just do me a favour and get me out of here. So let's rescue the girl. Now, the text, I think, is largely actually taken from the original version. Let's go now. So one person rescued. That's it. The interface is not quite as smooth as it should be. A few graphical bits just for sure. And that opens the door. Howdy. I was getting a little impatient. Okay. Do you know what's going on? Strange, I was going to ask you that. Who are you? I... I'm retired now. Why are you here? My brother asked me to come, said he wanted to bring me in on something. It must have been awfully important. Usually only calls me on my birthday. What was so important? I wish I knew, but I'll give you even odds that some new shady deal the scoundrel he's been dealing with lately, I don't know. people rescue. So basically the aim of the game is to rescue the people and deliver the package. Effectively it's like a, a very early courier game. Now I do think this this HD remake is a little rough around the edges. Basically this is a puzzle action game and the aim is to try and avoid all the various death patches. You're just going to adjust the volume down a touch. Oh, you see that? Suffice to say, you don't want to step on that baby step. Yep, we don't want to walk on that pad while it's... Okay, I picked up a grenade, LT.
Yeah, so let's open that security door. So I say, what's ever going on in this building is very slightly untoward. Now, I will admit the art style is not anywhere near a patch on the original game's art style. It does look a bit... Good way to go. I just got joining Gorgor. I might need a grenade from here again. The grenade doesn't come back. Need to spoke. The original was quite an interesting game. It was a really I mean, I played it some time ago, and it was a really impressive game. Ah, you... So you can run over that to close it. Okay. I see something weird. That's a door there. It's not that clear, I will admit.
well, I've got branching paths as you can see in the laboratory, so um, let's go the other way actually. Watch those shots from the end. Now I seem to recall in the original game you may have had a limited number of lives so it did get very tricky. Close that before doing that otherwise. Quite cool the fact they will go for the uh... Okay, well we won't be getting a perfect hostage rescue then. Now it's this to the next level. It is, so we should rescue all the hostages before. Never mind. So basically this is a proper old school game. Thank <laughs> you. 
Some doors only open when you clear enemies. Now, I, I did enjoy the original Amiga version when I played it many, many moons ago. And this version, it's, it holds true to you, mate. Amiga's version. It's what this primarily is, is like a graphics update and I think the new music. However, does this look as good as the original Amiga version? Is it a little bit rough around the edges? I'd say yes. It is available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch actually. However, it is not available on PlayStation 4 in Europe for some reason, only America. Pretty sure you had a set number of lies in the original version, so this is at least a little generous. And avoid getting So your aim is to secure the room. You've got a couple of I'll figure out which which way to, which button to open which exit. You can effectively finish the game without saving everyone, or you can try and save as many people as you can. Ah, you do still have lives in this version. Okay. Okay, let's try not to die as much this time then. <laughs> have five lives to finish the game then. Who were? Bad, although it's a, it's not sort of stunting to be very synced to the game. And you notice when I talk to people, you'll get the like effects running of the like electric gate if it's in there, which is quite irritating. game as well. Probably good thing to do that a bit more.
software engineer, what's going on? Staking for foreign organized. I wonder if there's actually a twist in the plot in this game. Thank you. Stuck behind his desk. Can you just come out this side? Oh, I just shoot the chair. I'm gonna try that again. I'll do the smart thing and save it this time so. Certainly the pathfinding could be a touch better. I like that, that seems to have uh Shot him just to load game. Okay, so. Really? Now, yes, we can do, and your text is stuck on the stream there, buddy.
determined to try and rescue this hostage, but this bit's a bit buggy, I have to admit. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's a bit... If you leave the screen... No, it, can you leave? Can we leave now? Yeah, that's about the text. Very good for this remix, but I will say the uh, it's there's a few slightly odd issues. Why is there a grey eye? I can't pick anything. That's just so bug. Core G Generations is still a very, very good game, but I think this remake is perhaps a bit not ideal in places. There could be better integration of certain functions. Supposedly, this was built using the original source code, so it may have a few of the original game's issues, but I just feel the visual style is a little bit lacking in this. It feels. It doesn't have. The artistic feel of its predecessor. Oh dear, I opened the door again, didn't I? And the man became boop! Yeah, that's not a great bug, Harry. Can we leave the stuff on the screen? Nasty dog with the text. Kara so managed to save all the hostages on one stage. I'm going to save it and exit out and see if that clears that can we leave now text on the screen. Well, oh, Arir is working with actually showing an image of the stage yet. There's definitely a few bugs with this version. That's not a good bug. Okay, I'm going to quit and uh, quickly rerun it so that when we get that horrible text display off screen, that's a horrendous bug. 
for Millie, it's a, well, it's probably, it's a C going on a B bug, so. Why well, classes, because it's effectively an issue everyone would notice. Oh my word, it doesn't move the save file, it loads standard station. Ugh, the interface. I can tell you now, if I was a QA tester on this game, I would have been bugging some of this stuff like crazy. That said, I've still got a soft spot for degeneration, and it's nice to be able to play in the mod mode, even if perhaps it's not the best version. At least it's more faithful to the original game than, say, the Streets of Rage 4 remake, which is interesting for want of a better word. Well, Street of, Streets of Rage 4 is not a remake, it's uh, a new outing in a series that doesn't quite understand the series it's trying to make a sequel to. Okay, that's really irritating. I had a blind wall down. Now, the console versions might be a little bit more bug 3, but it seems like a bug blue. Secure the room and then you need to rescue. I want security keycard required. Okay. You've got to get them for every floor. Move, move, buddy, move, move, move. Unlocked out of the frying pan. background on the creator of the virus, I think. I have to say, everything is not going too well if you're working in this laboratory. And I need that key.
Here's the part where I say, it's just to get nasty. Turn off the uh, HUD heads up display or not. This is back my lights. Okay, so we want to find rescue. I'm feeling there should be a switch to destroy these pink gates in this room. Buddy, don't run to me. That text bug is really, really annoying. Getting through there, yeah. That text bug, that's not a good bug. That just just does not look good to your consumer. I will be honest. That's not a bug in the original game, and it shouldn't be in this one. Those traps like that one are just really hard to see. What's 
press to end set. Okay, that's gone from. I'm gonna actually quit again because that bug is screwing up all the text of all the characters. That's not a good bug, sadly. Which is a shame because this is actually not. I mean, I really enjoyed two generations. This is probably not the best version of it, if I'm being honest. But this is by far the best way to play it on the modern systems as it is available on PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. Although I will stress that the PS4 version is not available in Europe for some bizarre reason. You've got that weird bug where it's um, half code. I think you've got anything and half code. Took you long enough. Just didn't put any or are you anyway? D E R R I D A D just write that down. D E R R I He doesn't have the passcode to open it, so who does? This guy then. Show them.
half stretch. Let me just confirm that because oh geez, I've got to check the spelling on that because that popped up so quickly. Yeah, the downside with this is it does go... This old school puzzle adventure said, Yeah, so go there, check the spelling on that. Only briefly showed me it, and I didn't quite get my stretch right. Okay, and I didn't hit the door there. Now, the original game didn't actually have full walls, it actually had like a uh, represent representation of walls with like a, a little small section of them so we definitely missed something by not doing that in this one It does feel like a game made by fans that didn't quite fully understand the original. The art direction is not as good. Similar to Streets of Rage 4, although Streets of Rage 4 is probably a more polished game than this. Even if it doesn't, if it doesn't understand what makes Skull and Beat in the Streets of Rage series, so it's important. Ah, I can't see that, that's another issue. Ow! Oh come on, how can I tell when that thing's on? Unexpected there. There's a grenade in the security case, so obviously I'm going to need to get by. Let's 
007 live, so that's good. State going for the grenade. Onto floor 82, so basically you have to continue going up in the building. Oh, harsh, that's stuck in right. Oh, come on. Stuck me right. How many lives got? Four. Okay, I'll save for now. Definitely or the definitely some not ideal bugs, the fact you've got text. So I'm not sure what killed me there, made my own gunshots. Pancake! Okay. Some of the enemies are rather difficult to see in this version. Gotcha. 
Okay, so the game is corrupt, well now it's not like I'm safe on that game, but I don't know why you could. Yeah, this, so, D-Generations I think is actually a very good game, and the gameplay still holds up very well. This version of it is rather buggy and not as good as it should be. I can only say I can only hope the console versions are better, but I suspect they probably are. I mean, there's definitely a great puzzle game here, but you're gonna have to put up with quite a few bugs. That's me being honest. There's just too many bugs in this. For my liking, it's not terrible, but it's they will hamper your enjoyment. So that audio cue, if you're bring up the menu when like the sound effects are playing, they just constantly play, so you get constant should be clearing all the sound effects in there. But there is quite a good puzzle action adventure game there that I will say. Right, if I go save game again. Why are they not capturing? They should obviously be meant to take a little screenshot. run just right in this bit.
definitely not an easy game, this does punish your mistake. just for grenades. Seems like it. But I have got the other security keys, so... Seem to work once in the blue moon. It's certainly a bit rough around the edges of the mission. Certainly a lot more. Oh, that was so lucky. It's certainly a lot rough around the edges of the original.
I have. There was only the one key from this area. Oh, come on, stupid So I think the only way to get back through here is to physically time so that you're, yeah, just ruthless. Okay, there we go. Can't really afford to lose any more lives, so I'm gonna have to rely on. Ho oh, hum, my shot bounced at him. Let's go now. Can we lose? Yep, we can do it. So the music actually. Very well, it's decent. I wouldn't say it's fantastic. I want to 
I must say, it's, it's like very good. It's not bad. It's, I think it's not, not atmospheric enough and just sort of a bit random, so. I think we got to say, one of eight on this floor. Yeah, I'll just... Oh, come on. Go, 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 buddy. Go, go, go. Soon time to say what's going on. <sighs> I should say again because. Yeah, you get a lot of those hidden electric platforms that you cannot see for the life. Come out jumping green ball. As soon as I'm safe, I get to the exit and then we're gone.
this room is so irritating that ball. Here. So again, so 64 of 8 rescued. Is there anything in here? I think I'm going to do this floor guys and I'm going to wrap it up so
try again, low again. So I'm just going to exit out again guys because I can't see anything in the top I can't look at why. Yeah, so it's not a ringing endorsement of this game or the fact I have to keep exiting out to get rid of the text. It is far from an ideal stream when I had to reload the Steam. I was supposed to blow myself up my own bomb. quite how that worked but I managed to blow myself up on quite some radius. I think this has got me stumped this one, assuming it's not glitched, it doesn't seem, I assume maybe you've got to, Okay, well, I managed to do that, and now I managed to get myself stuck in this room.
Oh well, that's not a way to end the stream. Certainly not if you worked on this remake. So Degeneration is an iconic game and I highly recommend if you've got their sort of the ability to play an old me games or the old DOS version. Really good quality title. This remake, as you can see here, mm, I think we're kind of ending the stream where we're going to finish. It's definitely a bit rough around the edges, to put it mildly. There are a number of bugs with it, I mean, it's not ideal. It's not bad if you never played the original, but the original was a very sublime game, and the art style in the original definitely looks better. I think this is certainly one for people who remember the original game you want to sort of re-experience it, but it's not ideal. Visually, it's not great, and there's definitely a lot of bugs in this version, which is disappointing. It is available on console, but... It's not hugely expensive, but having to put up with this amount of bugs in a game is not is anything but ideal. So I'm going to finish off there everyone, I'm going to wish you a good night, a good afternoon, a good evening or a good morning wherever you are in the world. I've been your host for this randomised gaming stream, Random Gaming Ribbon. I of course am streaming on behalf of Randomised Gaming. And this has been the remake or Degenerations HD, a 25th of the original 1991 game. Although if I'm being honest, I'd probably say the original 1991 game is the version to get, unfortunately. So I'm going to wrap it up here, everyone. Thanks for joining on stream as always. Thanks for watching. I will be back again tomorrow. And we will be streaming Bombman Online, Super, Super Bombman R Online again tomorrow on Google Stadia. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm going to finish now. Good night to you all.